When you mess with AV, you can acquire a lot of remotes. I'm going to see what I can replace with this Sofa Baton Universal Remote with Bluetooth. I'll have the unboxing and review coming up on Thrifty AV. This Universal Remote was provided by Sofa Baton for Thrifty AV to review. You might wonder, what does this remote have that universal remotes like these lack? And it's quite a lot. This universal remote has Bluetooth, so it can control devices like a Roku or an Amazon Fire TV stick. Also, this remote has an app, so it makes it easier to download remote codes. And this remote can be programmed from other remotes, so that's a cool feature. Every button on this remote can be programmed as you see fit. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, there's cellophane all the way around this thing. All right, right on the top, here's the quick guide. Let's take a look at it. Load battery with a pitcher. Download Sofa Baton app. Connect remote. Add device. Start using. Seems pretty simple to me. If you need help, there's an email address. Product name, Bluetooth remote controller, model U1. Quite a bit of disclaimer here. Okay, here is the remote. Has a little protection. Backside prize off. Uses two AA batteries. And it came with two Maxell AA batteries. Snaps back into place pretty easy. Alright, I have an LED screen. Connect to a Sofa Baton app. I found the Sofa Baton Smart Remote app easily on Google Play Store. Let's go ahead and open up this app. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Uh, yes, I'm going to allow Sofa Baton to access media and the location. I apparently don't have Bluetooth turned on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. There's Bluetooth. I'm going to turn it on. My phone says to hit the minus and E button at the same time until the screen reads pairing. That's these two buttons. And now the screen reads pairing. I now want to add a device to this U1 Universal Remote. And it says add a device right there. So let's, let's click via IR matching mode. And I want to do this Hitachi TV set. So I'm going to hit TV. And then I'm going to find Hitachi. It would be nice if these were in alphabetical order, but they are not. So you'll just have to find the TV you want. There is Hitachi. I'm going to click on that. And it says, point the U1 remote towards your device. I'm just going to set it right here, close to the infrared sensor. Now, if you're used to using one of these, you might think that you'd be hitting the power button on the universal remote. You are not. I'm going to control that through this. So, next. Okay. There are 23 codes for Hitachi remote. I'm going to try the first one out by hitting power. And it turned off the TV set. If that code didn't work, I could go through 22 more codes to see which one did. But it asked, did this command work? I'm going to click yes. All right, rewind should not apply to this TV. I'm just going to say yes. Uh, please name it, Hitachi TV. That's a good name. And then I'm going to hit next. Let's sync the code to your remote and you are ready to rock and roll. Uploading IR code to your remote, it's 17% done. This is interesting. I now have a screen that says customize your remote. But before I do that, I want to see 
if this works. You can read it says Hitachi TV. I'm going to hit power. It is now powering on. The most important thing here will be volume. And here's the volume buttons. And the volume is going up. So the volume button does appear to be working. Now the volume is going down. So the volume button's working, the power button's working. If I wanted to, I could remap this device to better match this one, but I'm pretty happy with it. Let's say I wanted to reprogram some of these. I could remap it. Everything that's green on this display has been assigned to the appropriate thing. Now I'm going to leave it alone. I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click Done. I have an Amazon Fire Stick hooked up to this Hitachi TV, so I want to add that next. Now those kind of remotes are Bluetooth remotes, and there on the top it says Fire TV. So I want to do a Fire TV remote, and that's a good icon for it. So I'm going to hit Continue. As Bluetooth can only pair with one device at a time, the U1 remote will disconnect with your phone if you continue the next step. So I'm going to hit Next. Using the original Fire Stick remote, I'm going to go to Settings, and then I'm going to go to Controllers and Bluetooth Devices, which there it is, Controllers and Bluetooth Devices. And now I'm going to go to Other Bluetooth Devices. And then it says add Bluetooth device. And there's the sofa baton showing up. I'm going to hit OK. Return out of that. Then I'm going to click done. So I'm going to hold these down until it says pairing. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now I have my Hitachi TV and the Fire TV. I'm going to hit OK on the Fire TV. It took a couple of seconds, but now this remote is controlling my Amazon Fire TV. Let's get out of settings, and I could launch a channel if I wanted to. Uh, YouTube, for example. The Sofa Baton U1 does not have the microphone button that's found on the Fire Stick, so you will not be able to use that feature. If you want that feature, Sofa Baton does have remotes with that feature. All right, to go back and forth between devices, all I have to do is scroll up and down. I'm now on the Hitachi TV, and I can volume up and volume down on the Hitachi TV. I would like to control the volume of my Hitachi TV while I'm on the Fire TV, and I can do that. Okay, to map the volume from my Hitachi TV to the Fire TV, I'm going to select Fire TV. I'm going to hit Remote Keys. I'm going to click on the volume up, and then I can either learn from the original remote, or I can create a macro for this key. I'm going to create a macro for this key. All right, I'm going to add. I'm going to go to the Hitachi TV, and I'm going to click the volume up. And now I'm going to save it. I could add more things to the macro. I'm not doing that right now, though. All right, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do the volume down. And I'm going to create macro for this key. I'm going to add Hitachi, volume down, save. Okay, now I have volume up and volume down mapped to the remote. On the remote, I'm going to select Fire TV. Okay, now when I'm on the Fire TV, volume up and volume down actually control the Hitachi TV's volume, and these buttons control the Fire TV. It is possible to create macros that do more than one thing. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but if you would like to see that, I'll demonstrate it in another video. At this point, I want to add another device, so I'm going to repair this with my phone by holding down these two buttons until it says pairing. 
Now I want to try something a little more challenging. This JVC camcorder comes with a remote that lets me zoom in and out and start and stop recordings. Start, stop. Now the camcorder is recording. Now it has stopped. I want to see if this JVC remote is in the cloud. Okay, uh, the options are TV, STB, projector, DVD, AV receiver, and streaming player. I'm going to hit other. And then I'm going to go to JVC. Okay, and it says point the U1 remote toward your device. So I'm going to set my camcorder here. Point the U1 remote toward it. I'm going to hit power. And did that command work? No. I'm going to go to learning mode because I think that's what I'm going to need to do. Okay, for learning mode, please locate your original remote and point the U1 remote toward it. I'm facing the front of the JVC remote to the front of the U1 remote. Next, press the icon for the key you want to learn. I will probably want to use this and this for zoom in and out. So on the phone, I'm going to hit that. And it says press and hold the original remote that you want to learn. So I'm going to press and hold this. All right, learning successful. All right, now I want to zoom out. Now that I've mapped it, let's see if it works. It's now zooming in. It's now zooming out. So I successfully mapped zoom in and zoom out onto the sofa baton. I can map the rest of these buttons as well. I have over 20 remote controls here. The sofa baton U1 can replace up to 15 of those remotes. That's pretty cool if you ask me. My initial impression is that this is a very versatile device. I will be using it on my entertainment center. I don't want to program 15 devices in this video. It's beyond the scope of this video. But I want to say that this is something that I do endorse. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. There's bonus content on my Patreon page for anyone who pledges a dollar or more a month. Thank you to my subscribers. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.